I'd like to thank everyone that's behind all this. I was just coming over here to eat and go home. <laughs> Where there's food, that's me. Seven, eight thousand people know me by Uncle Cliff. Oh, not you again, they'd say. Oh, I didn't know you're Aboriginal. All, all this. Eh? Well, I've been born and raised here, and I, and I thank God for standing here on behalf of the Sinclair family because they are behind this, the backbone of it, coming from 15 in the family, and I'm the 15th one, and the spoiled one, the brat, where oh, you get everything, oh, you're a baby. I heard all that, and just be quiet and listen. Everybody picking on me, especially brothers, sisters, they're all competitive. But I thank the town of Slave Lake and being born and raised here, I've seen a lot of changes, a lot of good things. And, I, and people ask me, where'd you come from? A place called Slave Lake, a one horse town at one time. <laughs> Tie your horse right in the middle of town. There's a well there. And all of these things that come about, no electricity, no water, I never lived in town, I lived out of town, we had cattle. Walked to school two miles, 11 years. One year in Canusto, Great Twelve. And all these things come about and all memories come back. And I thank all the nieces and nephews, I have about 100, <laughs> backing me up, some of them. And I thank Alec and Sergeant Murphy, Chris, and, and Sergeant, uh, Alec Kutri from Edmonton. And I thank you all. I used to work in a friendship center. I used to teach Cree here, adults, kids at uh, Shirtis School. I was a supervisor here.